one of the major problem I see most people that are using the hacked and encoded version of DeFace, major problem they are facing is how to compress the converted JPEG image that they have converted to PNG image, how they can compress the converted PNG image which they have converted from JPEG to PNG, how they can now compress that PNG image file so that it can play smoothly on the new incorrect and cracked version of the first life. Now, I am going to solve that in this video. I've gotten a whole lot of questions. People are asking me, how can they compress the PNG file, which they have already converted from JPEG to PNG, but eventually the PNG file they have already converted, okay? They have converted JPEG to PNG file, but the PNG file, when they open it, it still looks so big. Now, this is what I am going to solve in this video. How you can compress your converted PNG file so that the face can read it within one second. If your PNG file is so big and if you put it in the face life, the new encoded and cracked version of the first life, even if you're using 12, 16 gig, 8 gig, 24 gig dedicated, the face will still find it very hard to read that file. I mean, changing your face with an image in a live video call in all platforms, okay? Ability for you to use any kind of image to change your face in case if you want to prank your followers or you want to call your friend a video call and prank him or her or whatever reason that you want to use it for okay some people also use it to create content you know for their youtube for their facebook and for different other social media platforms now in this video i'm going to share with you guys how you can use picture manager to compress your image so that the first life, the encoded and cracked new version of the first life can be able to read that particular image without any delay. Okay. Most problem that people face, people that are using the new encoded and cracked version of the face, the actual problem that I find out that face mostly is how they can put any kind of image and the image will change to their face in a live video call. In all platforms. Now, if I've installed DeFace on your system, I will definitely show you how you can convert a JPEG image to a PNG image because what DeFace actually reads easier is PNG image, this sort of JPEG image. But another problem most people face is if the picture is so big, even if after cropping it, you know, shoulder and head or shoulder and face, even after cropping it, you still find out that if you save it from JPEG to PNG, if you open that image, you notice that that image is still very big. So even if you copy it like that and put in the actual location of the software, you will realize that the face is not going to read that file. Why? Because the file is too big. Now, in my previous video, I showed you guys how you can download Microsoft Picture Manager, which is what I'm going to use in this video to show you guys how to compress your image so that the face will read your image within one second okay even if you're using foggy dedicated even if you're using sysg dedicated no matter the kind of um dedicated graphics card that you have in your laptop or your desktop once it runs the face it is going to read the image within one or two seconds your face is going to change to that image now in case for those of you that have not watched that video, I'm going to put that video at the end of this video, how you can convert your JPEG image to PNG image. But what I'm going to show you guys in this video is how you can compress that PNG image that you've already converted. In case if the image is still very big after you have converted it from JPEG to PNG image, you need to compress it. 
Now, let's dive right into my system without wasting time. Okay, for those of you that are watching this video that don't know how to convert JPEG to PNG, I'm going to put that video at the end of this video as well. You can watch it and know. But let's go on. Let me show you how you can compress any picture that you convert from JPEG to PNG so that it will be reduced for the face, the new encoded and cracked version of the face to read it faster. Okay, let's go over to, I downloaded this image just now. This image is still small. Let me try and see if I can download another big image. Come here, type um, passport photo and click on enter. Go to image section. Let's look for um, a, an image that looks big. Uh, I think this image, I don't know if it looks big. This is W web. No, this is not the kind of image I want. I want just a normal image. Let's try this guy. This guy, let's save us. Um, this is JPEG. That's okay. Let's open this image and see if this image is big. It's still not big anyway. Okay. Let's still try and see if we can see another image that is bigger. This is not big. But although I will still use this image to show you guys whatever I want to show you guys. Okay. Let's download this image. Save as web. No, 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 no. That's not the kind of image I'm looking for. I'm looking for a JPEG image because the demonstration I'm going to do in this video is just only meant for JPEG image. Okay. So let's assume in this image. I don't know if it's still big. Okay, this is JPEG, save, open this image. Let's just go on with this image. This image is okay. Mm -hmm. Although, after compressing it, it's not going to look big. I want an image that is going to look big. Okay, I know what to do now. What I have to do is, this image, let me make it look big, this particular one. Okay, I'm going to make this image look big now. Then we will now Photoshop. We will now work on that big image so that you guys will really understand what I mean. Now, Photoshop, let me go and open one of the thumbnails in my download folder. You guys should pay attention because I want to also, what I'm going to teach you now is how to expand an image and make the image look big. So, you, I'm teaching so many things in this video, which is because I want to achieve a particular thing. I'm now going to expand, make an image to look big. Let me open this image and see if this image is big. Okay, this image is big. All right. Now, what I want to use is the size of this image only. That is what I want to use. Come over here. Okay. Now, go over and open that image that we downloaded now. That image is in picture. Double click. Drag this image right in here. Okay. Hold shift and expand this image. I just want to make this image to be big so that we'll work on a big image. Good. Now, we'll have a big image. I'm going to save this image, save as. Come, I'm going to save it as the same um, JPEG. I'm going to save it as JPEG. I'm going to replace this one, or I'm going to just name AAA. And I'm going to save, and that's it. So this image now is big image. You guys can see that it is a big image. And the previous one is not big, it's small. So I'm going to delete this one. And let's work on this one. This is okay. Now we'll have big image. Let me close my Photoshop. Now, let's get started. Go over here and open this image. What we are trying to do is to compress this image with picture manager so that the face will read it faster. Okay? The encoded and cracked version of the face will read it faster. Now, open this image. You guys can see 
this image has been opened with photo, okay? And if you come to this image and I click this image and go to properties, you notice that this is a JPEG image. This is a JPEG format image. You guys can see, but we need to convert this image to PNG. Now, for those of you that have not watched that video, let me quickly show you guys how to convert a JPEG image to PNG. Now, I click on this image, go to open, open with photo, which is a normal application that open, but just open with photo. Once you open with photo, come here, click on the first button, which is edit. Once you click on the first button, which is edit. Now, what we are looking for is just the shoulder and head. That is what we need. Now, come over here and drag this and you guys can see, drag it down here. Okay. Okay. Now, come over here, save as copy. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, this is AAA, I'm going to name it BBB. Okay. Now, this is a JPEG image. And at this point of saving is where you're going to convert it to PNG. Come over here. Save as type, click here and come over to PNG, select PNG, and this is BBB, save. You guys can see that this picture has been saved. Let me close and reopen it. This is BBB, this is a, this is the one we just cropped. If you open it, you will notice that this picture is still big. Now, if you copy this picture now, this picture is PNG file. This is no more JPEG because we've converted it from JPEG to PNG. You can see this is PNG file. If you copy this image now and put it in the new encoded and cracked version of the face, my brother, my sister, this the face is not going to read this file because the file is so big. This is where Microsoft um, Picture Manager comes in. And if you don't know how to get your Microsoft Picture Manager, it's free. You're not going to pay for it. Make sure you watch the video I'm going to put at the end of this video so that you will know exactly how to download and install that particular picture manager. All right? Now, let's move on. Right click on this image. I'm going to open this image now with picture manager, which is Microsoft Office 2010. But this is picture manager. Click here and you can see this is Microsoft Office 2010, but this is picture manager. Now, we have cropped this picture. Come over to edit up here and click on edit. Come over to, you don't need to go to crop again because you've already cropped it. Although you can do all the cropping and, and compression here. Okay. But I just decided to show you guys with photo because photo is, is a default software or application in your windows that comes with your windows. Any windows has this photo. Okay. Now, Next thing we need to do is just go to compress, click on compress, and click on web page. Once you click on here and click on OK, this picture is going to be compressed to the size that the face will read it as easy as it will. If you put this picture now, if you save this picture and put it in the face, it's going to read, read it within one or two seconds. Okay? Now, once you're done with this, you can also come to edit again and do some minor, maybe contrast or whatever, and make the picture sharper and all that. Okay? Now, once you're done, what you need to do is click on save. Once you click on save, it's going to tell you to create a new file. Now, click on create file, and it's going to create a new file. Close and don't save. You guys can see that we'll have another new file here. Now, if you open this, this still looks big. But if you open the one we just created now, this is going to look so small. You guys can see that this picture is now very small on default. But if you open this, this looks big. But if you open this, this looks small. So, you guys understood how I was able to um, compress this image. Although, even without going through photo you can also right click this particular big one that i expanded with um photoshop okay and you can just right click on this and open it straight with microsoft office 2010 and do all the editing book cropping and everything by just going to edit picture go to crop that cropping that you did in photo you can do that all here everything just right inside this particular software
So once you're done cropping, all you need to do is click on OK. Once you click on OK, you can come to edit again and just use the contrast and edit it and make this guy look sharper or even make the picture look brighter or whatever. And once you're done, click on edit again and come to compress. Click on web page and click on OK. It's going to reduce the size of the image. Now come over here and click on save as. Now we have AAA, we have BBB. What we don't have is LLL. Now, once you click on save and save this image as LLL, you have already saved this image. This is LLL. When you open this image, this image will be very small like this. The face is going to read it very fast. But one more thing is that if you right click on this image and go to show and go to property, this image is still JPEG image. This is where photo comes in. So all you need to do if you want to convert it from JPEG to PNG is to right click on it. Move over to open with photo, which is what is going to convert it from JPEG PNG and click on this first. Don't crop it again since you've already cropped it in picture manager just come over here save as copy and save as then what we don't have here is e e e now come over save as type because what we're trying to do is convert it from jpeg to png and select png and click on save once you click on save the l the e e e that we have now which is going to be very small for difference to read it if you right click on it and go to show more properties you can see this is png file so very easy so i thought so many things in this video i'm going to make a, a different video on how to expand an image which is what i taught you guys initially in this video and the second one is how to convert jpeg to png now how to compress the image to look so small so that the face we read it within one second so if this video was helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're watching my video for the first time my name is asweekend Kinsley, and on this channel i give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant things that helps in our daily online space but during the weekend i make sure i give you updates on new games and app in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my video make sure you hit the subscription button and turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to know once I upload a new video, I will see you guys in my next video. Like always, you guys should stay creative and remain blessed.